back to the YouTube channel, guys. Um, this mouse, this is Vlogmas again. As you can see, it's foggy in the state of Florida. We got the, the mouse trap right here. We got the new Z71 right here, and we got the Cadillac ATS in the back. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I do uh, car audio. I go to all these car shows with all the racing and all that stuff. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do a video today on building a ported box. Uh, secret formula that I have that I've built before and with four 12 JLW3s on only like 3,000 watts man We hit a 151 with it man good good low notes high notes man. It hits everything um, It's a little formula that I uh, came up with when I used to work at a car shop named Mad Martins um, I Have other previous videos from band pass boxes that I've built But today we're gonna go ahead and give you a secret formula as a little small Christmas gift for you guys, uh, the subscribers that watch, you know, trying to do car audio. Uh, if you like car audio and everything, like I said, subscribe to the channel. Um, I go to all the, like the little dunk races, um, regular racing, and you do all the the drop trucks. I just got a new truck. We can start towing uh, this truck with that truck. We may drop this truck or um, lift it up. Comment down below if you think I can I can low drop this truck and tow it with this at the same time. I haven't really got into uh, finding out what's good but comment down below let me know what you guys think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this guys for all the first time viewers of my channel what I got inside and the stuff that I built um, but go ahead and subscribe to the channel turn those notifications on and keep updated with all the videos that I drop for those new to the channel this is my truck right here we got the three tens the tweeter door panel Follow me on Instagram, subscribe. So we got the fiberglass door panels right here. A custom seat with speakers in the front. Uh, we got the tens and the tweeters. We got the fiberglass console with the stripper pole. With the 15 inch foot done with the lights. We got the other door panel. The nitrous that ain't connected yet, but we will. We got 412 uh, kicker CBRs in the bandpass box back there. Um, secret formula, so I think it's down. Um, the, the back does not look all that pretty, so don't judge me, but drop them comments, let me know. The wiring is pretty neat, I guess. I have all kinds of stuff, four batteries down there. Maybe, guys. And the fuse holders, everything must be fused so nothing goes out. So that gives a good, quick glimpse of it. There's a Cadillac, Z71. I do want to drop it though, but I don't know if I can drop and tow at the same time, but we will give it a shot. So like I said, subscribe to the channel and let's get into this box design. Okay, so part of this blog miss, man, we're doing uh, these specs on this, uh, what do you call this? Table mat, the Christmas stuff, look at that, the candy canes, enjoy, and the Christmas tree mat. iPad. All right, so if you've never, let me turn off this light so Okay, if you guys never checked out my other video for designing a bandpass box, I like to use this website called the12volt.com. This website right here, if you want to do relays, boxes, all kinds of stuff, this is the website to go to, guys. So up here, we're going to go to um, sub calculators. Okay, since we're building a square box right here boom you're gonna find where it says volume calculator rectangular square enclosures okay so I did some pre notes guys okay so this formula you can pretty much use for any subs I use them for um, JL W3s and CBRs and L7s and you know as the level of subs some can excurt a little bit more um, some can take more power so we were able to uh, pretty much get the same output out of all the subs with just this box formula and this box formula man it took me like a good little minute to design on the computer program that I used to have but that was in like 2005 so but anyways I always remembered it because it's a good formula so it's for 412 ported sub box the box the cubics uh, feet for the subs is 10 cubes and you must have a port that's 80 square inches by 20 inches long. Okay, so we have an imaginary um, cargo area where it reads, we found a good um, measurements 
that are like 49 from wheel well to wheel well, 30 inches deep with 17 inches high. And that gave us 12.14 cubic feet. You know, I always tend to do it maybe a cube and a half larger on any enclosure because I like to load it up with braces, number one. Number two, the magnets, they do take up airspace. And number three, the port has its own external um, airspace that it takes up. You know what I'm saying? So I like to do at least like a cube extra. So uh, I know that I have this, the right amount of uh, airspace for it. And plus it'll never hurt. You know, it'll actually just help it get a little bit deeper and stuff like that. So now for the 80 square inch port, I really suck at math when I was in school. So I learned geometry when I started building boxes. So, and I don't even know if that's even geometry, but anyways, um, so 80 square inch port, pretty much is anything that you do like four times, you know, something to equal, you know, 80. So what on this specific thing, we did a 10 wide by eight high. So if you do 10 times eight, that's 80 square inches and then 20 inches long. So we did uh, the math on it and then we came out the port on the external it is going to be um, well that's actually internal airspace this is internal airspace so the internal is going to be 0.59 so we'll say it's probably like a good uh, you know let's do the math real quick actually just so we know that we're good I couldn't find a calculator but we went ahead to use my iPhone but anyways so let's go ahead and do 10 times 8 times 20 equals and then that's going to give me 1600 um, for the the um, what you call it it's going to give me 1600 total so now we're going to divide that into 1728 so basically this is one cubic foot on the outside so we'll just say this is internal and then external it is 0.92 so basically we're just around that's it's a cube so basically the port is a cube um it's going to take up a cube so that word this comes into play you know what I'm saying so that that's perfect you know we need the insides to be a little bit bigger not the outside so that's that's good that's a good number plus this plus all the braces and the subs so that that's a perfect number the way that I always position the subs is say where this is a side profile of the box I always tend to put the port like in the lower bottom and let's see, so it would go like all the way over here and then the subs I would do all the subs like firing up you know what I'm saying all the subs would be firing up so basically, when this hits the tailgate and that hits the roof, it's all going to make one solid low. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to bang really hard. It has so much places where it's going to reflect from and it's going to give you a good solid base. You know what I'm saying? You know, I was always a big fan of that. Doing um, boxes and like SUVs. I actually had this in my two-door blazer and that thing always jammed out. You know, um, all the subs that I always did. Now, you may get a lot of rattling. But just, you know, if you have a hollow roof or don't have no damping. I never had no damping. I don't really don't believe in that stuff. Um, I like to man here everything shakes. So that thing is going to jam. You know what I'm saying? That thing is going to jam. You know, subs firing up, port firing back. But I always tend to keep a little bit of distance from the port and the tailgate. So probably like 10 inches, you know. Maybe not 10 inches. Probably like even 8 inches. Um... So it gives it time to like reproduce and then come back up. You know what I'm saying? So that, that that's good. All right. So now let's get into the cut list. So always remember we're using three quarter inch wood. I don't believe in that birch stuff or stacking up. If you got good solid nails, good solid glue, and you know all your pieces fit perfect and, and nice braces, man, that box is never going to fall apart. So I really don't believe in the birch. I don't believe the screws. I don't believe 
and double stacking, triple stacking. Man, listen, if you are a good carpenter and, and know how to build a box and, and make sure everything's good, that thing is never going to fall apart. You know what I'm saying? That's just for the people that just, I don't know, that's just crazy to me. But anyways, so let's do the cut list. For the box and then we'll do the cut list for the port okay so to get the uh, dimensions that we're gonna need for the cut list always remember you know off from all these numbers we got to subtract 1.5 1.5 and why 1.5 because if you put two pieces of uh, three quarters together it's 0.75, so times that times 2, it's 1.5. So, this one, 49, subtract 1.5 equals 47.5. We'll do 30, subtract 1.5 equals 28.5. And we'll do 17, subtract 1.5 equals 15.5. Okay, so now, obviously the top and the bottom will do this. Top and bottom. Uh, it always has to be the biggest piece. So basically it is going to be 49 times 30. And you're going to need two of those guys. Okay, front and back. You're going to need, I always like to do the, the front, the actual width of the box. So it's going to be 49 times, since there's going to be a top and a bottom, you have to do the 15.5 because when you put the, the bottom and the top, the overall height is going to be 17. So the front and back is going to be 15.5. Okay, now the sides, I'm running out of space right here, guys. Don't hate me, but make a comment, roast me, whatever. I could, we'll just do this right here. Sides. We'll do, um, since it's 49, we're going to have to subtract it. So it's going to be 28.5 times the 15.5 again, guys. Okay, so your sides pieces need to be 28.5 by 15.5. Because since your front and your rear pieces of wood are going to be 49, um, you need to be able to put this 28.5 between it to staple it from front and from the back. And then obviously when you put that 15.5, you set it on the bottom one. Then once you put the top one, it's going to equal out to 15, uh, 17, my bad. 17 inches uh, height all the way together. So basically, and then you're going to need two two of those okay so basically that's the cutout sheet so you're gonna need two 49 by 30s two of those for your top and bottom you're gonna need two front and back which is the 49 by 15.5 and then the sides are gonna be 28.5 by 15.5 and you're gonna need two of those okay from all the scraps and everything that you do cutting out these guys you're going to need to just save some of those and put braces between the each cutout hole. So figure if, you know, I'll just do a quick figure if this is the top view of the box and you got one sub for every corner. I would do a, bra a big brace here, do a brace here, here, and then maybe a brace in each corner. So that is just one solid piece. So that thing... As much power you put on it, as much as base notes, as good, that thing is never going to flex and it's always going to, you know, be compact. Like I always say, building a box is like building a bridge. A bridge will last you forever if the columns underneath it are properly placed in all the right positions to keep that bridge up and never let weight, you know, or pressure, you know, make it collapse. So basically, same theory applies here. If you have good proper columns inside the box and they're mounted pretty good evenly you know spread out 
then all the pressure and all the flexing is never going to affect the box and it's always going to you know be you know one solid piece and that thing is going to jam forever okay so now let's do the uh the port cutout list okay so obviously um let's do the minus 1.5 minus 1.5 and then minus 1.5 so obviously the port we're going to need it 10 by 8. So we're going to need to do um, the top and bottom. We are going to do uh, 10 by 20. You're going to need two of those. And then the sides basically you're going to need uh, 8 by 20. And you're gonna need two of those. And so basically that is it because there's no front and no back because um, the port needs to have air coming in from the box and release out to the vehicle. So that is gonna be the cutout for your uh, ports. And that's about it. You know, and with this box design, guys, I guarantee you this thing is gonna be a monster. Don't be scared if you got subs. If each sub calls for 800, so eight times four, that is what? Eight times four, so do eight hundred times four is thirty two hundred watts. Thirty two hundred watts. Thirty two hundred I would put like a solid three thousand watt amp on it, just so it, that thing is going to move and like it's ported. So you're going to need less power to make those subs move, but with that power that you guys will do. Man, that thing will, will jam. You know, I suggest do like, I like those tar amps. You know, those things are pretty badass. I started working with those things. And very, 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 very impressive for the size and the price. Man, those those things are good. Um, like I said, this box design was for four JLW3s. But I've done the same box specs with uh, the Kicker L7s and the CVRs. Man, and all of them, you know, they'd be jamming. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would never give you guys no specs that would not, you know, be, you know, up to par you know and the tuning frequency on this thing man this thing will probably hit like a solid like 30 hertz you know saying 30 hertz and now now just because it's got that long port and all that airspace don't think that thing is not going to hit that high base man that thing is going to get that high base serious you know like i said like i hit a 151 on the meter um with this thing any questions you guys have you know hit me up Take a good look at the specs and all that stuff if you guys can read it if you guys are car audio people and everything you guys can read this more better than the average person because we always tend to take notes and make them sloppy but we can always make them readable and like i said drop a comment hit that like man don't be scared to ask me no questions i got y'all subscribe to the channel follow me on my instagram mouse x trap i tend to post a lot of stuff on there i do have my other youtube official um instagram you can follow me on that too I'll leave all the links here in a little bit. And man, follow it. Um, this is Vlogmas. This is a little gift for me to you guys. You know, quick box specs. You know, the formula is right there. 10 cubic feet. 80 square inch port, 20 inches long. Throw it down to 30 hertz. Put a 3000 watt amp on it. Man, and you'll be in business, man. So I appreciate you guys for taking the time watching the video. Hopefully you guys watched all the video. And you know, then you guys probably build this box let me know how it goes any questions let me know man and we can run it